Good afternoon guys. The clear skies have returned. Uh, we have a few clouds, but Marty's coming over this afternoon on his BMW 100. How are you doing? Okay. I'm doing good today. Good to see you. No smoke and clear blue. I know, I was just thinking that. Oh. It's so good to see the blue sky again. I know we have a few clouds, but it's just great. Thanks for coming. Sure. Great to see you again and your bike. Sure. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, thank you very nice much. Stay for a ride. Yeah, it is, eh? Yeah, a little uh, kind of muggy but it's very nice yeah. yeah well there's no smoke and it's no, clean air to breathe so thank goodness I'm happy. yeah well really really nice looking bike i was wondering if you could share a few words about your bike how long you've had it and so forth yeah it's a 78 uh, r100s i painted it daytona orange which is um, not common for this the year 78 it was a it was a color that was on the r90s's from 75 and 76, but I had a brand new 75 90S, so I've kind of always been a Daytona guy. <laughs> I've had a number of BMWs and I've always had them painted this color, so. I got this bike about 20 years ago, and I had to search for, for a while because 100Ss are a little bit hard to find. So I found it in San Diego, actually, and went down there and grabbed it and came home and. Within about four hours, it was all over the garage floor and I sandblasted the frame and powder coated it silver and started over. Typically they're black then, are they, yeah, these frames? they come black. It looks lighter, doesn't it, when it's in this yeah, color? Yeah, I kind of like the silver look. Yeah. You know, it makes it a little bit unique. And that paint job, it must have been incredibly hard to do that and with this shading on the gas tank and the tail section and the, the front fender and everything. Well, a uh, close friend of mine did it. The paint's older than this bike that I've had. I had it on another bike. Ah. And a buddy of mine, Ron, painted it. The factory scheme, you know, this is the way the 90s came. So the paint's about 22, 23 years old or so. So it's held up real well. It has. I kind of tend to baby my stuff anyways. So. <laughs> I've seen your bike many times, uh, Oaks Park in particular, and I think I've seen it at the World of Speed, and so it's... Yeah, it's, I've had it for a while, and I used to ride it a lot more than I have, because I've gotten a couple other ones, another old one this same year, and then I got a new GS, so that's been kind of my, you know, ride into the ground bike, and this one's just kind of a little toy that I bring out every once in a while to play with just must feel so nostalgic though riding it, oh, eh? Yeah, it You've had it for so home. long. You know, I've put so many miles, I've put well over 100,000 miles on these bikes, this type of bike, so, you know, when I get back on it, it just feels like home. Awesome. So, yeah, I really like them. So comfortable and smooth. And, yep. Yeah. And they're just tinker toys to work on, you know. Uh, they're, they're so accessible with just about everything, you know. You don't have to take the motor off the frame to to get really into it you know have you had this motor apart yeah i took it all everything i put new crank bearings in it new cam new pistons had basically do the heads took it all apart took all the bearing races out of the frame did some weld repairs on little things that break down around the rear muffler mounts and and uh sandblasted it and powder coated it and then just started over and just there, every little thing I could find I put new on and Gosh. made sure it was factory you know? yeah so it's 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 still pure it's mint but it's got a lot of different years of different stuff on it but they're all BMW went all through the rear diff I put a 90s rear differential in it so it's got the better gearing that I like um, but yeah everything went all through the wheels and all the bearings, all the rubber. Filed the heads on all the bolts and chromed every fastener I could find on it. Goodness. So it, it's, you know, it's... It's immaculate. 
It's, it's immaculate. Like a little piece of jewelry. You yeah. Know? I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much a brand new bike, you know. Yeah. And the, the tank badge then, is that standard or is that a special BMW tank badge? Because I see you got the matching badge on your Langlitz leather jacket as well. Yeah. That's very cool. It was their motorsport uh, emblem. Okay. And I think it, it was originally, it was like their racing team emblem. Because it has the motorsport blue, red and dark blue color on it. Yeah, I got those badges probably 40 years ago. Wow. And then this one is a porcelain. They're porcelain, and then this one's porcelain too, but it's a standard one. And they're they're older than this bike, but I've just, you know, I've accumulated, rat hold a bunch of stuff over the years for these bikes. So I kind of, when I did this one, I pulled out all my little trinkets and goodies and put it on this one. Awesome. So this I got from a buddy of mine that had a car shop here in town, and he went back home to Germany and he came back with this in about 1976. He brought me this patch for my coat. And at that point, I hadn't even seen any of these yet. So I put this on my coat. And then a few years later, San Jose BMW was selling these. So that's where those two came from. Amazing. So the emblem goes back a ways. Yeah. And it looks like your Langlitz do as well, eh? Yeah. I bought these. I bought these from Ross. He made he measured oh, me in. You're kidding? You bought them new? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Ross measured me, and I think Jackie sewed them. And they're st and they still fit as well, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> That's a testament. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of getting to be an old skinny guy, so you know now they're now they're still. Very cool. Still work. Well, it's stunning, your bike, Marty. Yeah. It really is. It's clean as a whistle, isn't it? It's so <laughs> clean. It's so tidy and. They're mag wheels, aren't they, those? Well, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the s snowflakes, they call them, but I painted oh. them that color because I kind of oh. liked it better than just the silver. Okay. And the fairings, you know, iconic BMW, isn't it? The factory bikes never painted the, the headlight bucket or the mounting ears. Oh, they oh. were always just black. Oh, were they really? They were oh, the that's color good. Of the frame. I kind of liked it, the color of the bike. It gives it a finished look, doesn't yeah. it? I like that. Except the mufflers. The mufflers are web stainless mufflers. But everything on it is BMW. I, when I took the seat all apart and made it brand new, I galvanized the pan. Oh yeah, So really? it would never rust. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's mint inside. A bit different to my old Norton. <laughs> yeah, these tend, these tend to get rust under the pan and you look around the holes and there'll be little bubbles. And if you see little bubbles around the holes, you know the top is pretty much done. <laughs> So I wanted to make sure, although this thing will never be in the rain again, but I just like the idea of making it permanent. Paint job's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. That fade effect, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's really hard to get that perfect too. Ron did so many of them. He, he did a lot of them in town back in the 70s and he was the master. Were they painted by hand at the factory then, or did they have robots? No, they were painting back? them by hand. Okay. And then they, they would, uh, they, the women would pinstripe them, and there'd be a little signature underneath the tunnel of the tank of the gal that pinstriped the bike. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they used to, this one obviously doesn't have that, but you find an original one of that era, there'll be a little mark underneath the tunnel oh. of the gas tank, and that's the gal that striped it. Oh my it. gosh, Helga or Olga did it yeah. in 76 or yeah. 77, that's it, that's yeah. great. <laughs> well, thanks again, it was really great to see you. Yeah, I appreciate you yeah. giving me the opportunity. You know, you don't, you don't see too many stuff on the old Beamers anymore. You know, the British bikes are really popular now, and not that many people are interested in these anymore, so I really appreciate you taking the time to take some pictures of oh, it. It's really my pleasure. Thanks a lot, Marty. Okay. I'll see you again sometime, okay? Yeah, I might, hope so. Might see you down at CC's or something like that.
very much for watching guys this has been another tale from the cul-de-sac please remember to subscribe and click the little bell and you'll get a notice whenever i release a new video usually every sunday morning and sometimes during the week